well, the first thing was the shock of having it because uh, the doctors at to Kaiser were floating then and I didn't have my own personal doctor. So the doctor that reported to me said, you're, you're positive. And I blurted back, am I going to die? Because there was no handbook that came with the virus and you know we didn't know much about it. So having it was uh, the greatest thing was the uh, unbelievable fatigue that went with it. I just could hardly raise a cup of water to drink. So that was the biggie. Well, it would probably be a toss up between that fatigue and the uh, isolation. Totally isolated and you didn't, you know, we didn't know much about it then. And also another thing that came to mind was didn't know any, whether or not having it was giving you any long range immunity. Mm -hmm. So to have it once and survive, have it twice and die was kind of the thought that went through your brain. It was two or three weeks before I really got my full strength back you know, where I could get up and do my own work and one thing or another. It was very slow in coming. Oh yes, I think that all of you have bent over backwards to ensure our safety. The kitchen and all the servers have been so good about our meals being served and it's um, in a plastic bag on our, on the uh, door handle of our room, but it's a lot better than having a reoccurrence of the virus, I'll tell you. I think the initial one about the fever is the greatest thing that could have happened to us, and then making sure that it was kept in place, and the placing of the plastic by the front desk, and stopping extra visitation, and I just think it's been managed here outstandingly well. I think ERA should have a big feather in its cap. Oh, I think it's been unique and outstanding. I think April's done a yeoman's job of not only communicating to our relatives, she's uh, uh, allayed all my daughter's concerns about me being here, and then the communication to us ourselves about how to maintain ourselves and the restrictions that we should impose and has been very, very helpful, very supportive. April Tolstoy gives us communication several times a week and into the status and the governor's uh, position and and what's being done and how many people are being tested and how many people are positive and how many people are negative. And the controls that have been imposed have obviously restrained that expansion. I think being in a retirement community where you're constantly monitored, where the extra cleaning of uh, surfaces and the prohibition of numbers of people in the elevator together. All the imposed uh, safety rules, I think, make this the safest place for us to be. I'm mm -hmm. very glad that I'm here. Oh, no, I feel like I'm extremely safe here. I wouldn't be anyplace else. I am completely convinced that my being here has been my greatest safeguard because they're um, stimulated by obvious their desire to keep us all well so they bend over backwards in keeping the restrictions imposed and i just don't feel i could be in a safer place i sure don't want to be in the hospital with a breathing tube stuck in me i was given outstanding care outstanding. Couldn't ask for better.